Warning, this video may contain spoilers, movie violence and gore, foul language, and opinions that you disagree with. Viewer discretion is advised. Honestly, he's probably going to spoil the whole damn movie for you, so leave now if you want to avoid that. Alright, let's talk about Texas Chainsaw Massacre here. 2022 that is you have to throw that in nowadays because uh, they don't know what the hell they're doing when they name these movies this new one's a sequel to a movie called you know guess what it's called texas chainsaw massacre what the fuck are you doing i don't know why they're doing that these days it's like a new thing to just you know steal the old title and try to you know profit off of it i guess but how are you gonna have two movies back to back with the same damn title come on now but this one takes place you know 50 years later it's made almost 50 years later too so it's you know almost real time basically you see you know sally come back and we'll get to sally for sure don't worry we're going to talk about her but i gotta go back to this title first man i don't know what this trend is you know halloween did it scream's doing it now and apparently you know texas chainsaw is just going to do it too which technically it's kind of like the misfits thing where i've argued this before with the misfits the original is called the texas chainsaw massacre this one's just called texas chainsaw massacre but same damn thing you know what i mean it's like the misfits the misfits and misfits you know it's different eras you know they just you know got rid of the which i don't know if that really makes a difference but you know on paper it does basically but i'm just going to call the original texas chainsaw like i've always have and the new one can be you know texas chainsaw 2022 i'm, I'm not going to put the year on the old movies because they've earned the title you know what i mean they've had it forever no reason to you know take the title from them just to and it makes no sense really like i i can tell when they do like a remake I can see what they're going for by just, you know, jacking the title and reusing, you know, the same old title because it's like, oh, we want the new audience, you know, to come in and not think it's like, you know, a part two or, you know, a part 10 or whatever. And they want to, you know, introduce the, the new generation to, you know, the movie in their way or why ever the hell they do it. You know, the remakes are never as good as the original, but with the sequel, you know, it makes no damn, like, it's like you're tricking people into going to see it when it's really a part two. And then they're going to be like, oh, I've never seen, you know, part one. Why did I watch this one first? You know, it's not called part two. And it's like, you know, there already was a part two. It's like uh, when I first heard of this movie being made, I was like, okay, so Toby Hooper did the first one. And then Toby Hooper did a part two. You're telling me you're going to do better than Toby Hooper. You know, it's like a pretty bold, you know, claim to make basically. But, you know, I, I'm being a little harsh on it right out the gate. But I actually did like this movie. I thought this was a pretty good, you know, Texas Chainsaw movie. I haven't been a big fan of like the recent ones like I used to like the Jessica Biel one and over time I've just kind of like started to not really like it that much there's just you know things that stand out in it where I'm just like okay this is you know ridiculous but and I haven't really gotten into like I've tried to watch some of the other ones didn't really get into it but I'm gonna go back and give them another chance you know now that I'm like I've kind of like recalibrated my expectations of like remakes and you know shit like that but I'm gonna go through and do like a Leatherface marathon coming up to give them a fair shot you know but I did, I did end up liking this one. I don't like it better than, you know, the original part two, which originally, like, when I watched the original, you know, Toby Hooper part two years ago, I was, like, blown away by, like, what the fuck is this? Like, I, I thought it was going to be, you know, a crazy, gory sequel, you know, and I didn't realize it was, like, a more of a comedy movie. Like, I completely hated it the first time I watched it. <laughs> but the second time I watched it, I was like, okay, now I know what I'm getting into. Let me check this out again. I love it now. Like, part one and part two, I just... I love those movies and uh so this was you know it, it's better than the other leatherface ones i've seen it may be like you know my third or fourth favorite you know texas chainsaw movie but you know had, had some good kills and shit you know i'll give them that for sure but uh yeah let's, let's go through this here I'm, i don't know if this is going to be like a, a full-on review where i go through with like you know a fine tooth comb i'm just going to kind of you know pick out some things talk about them but yeah let's get into this shit man let's check this out Amazing. so harlow is a ghost town yes but we have a vision for this place all it needs is young blood, people like us, tired of the big city, looking for a fresh start. So the story from what I understand, I guess uh, these like youngsters bought up, I don't know if they bought a bunch of the property or like they somehow have like a bunch of deeds and stuff like they're gonna, you know, acquire this town and like revamp it, you know, and try to, you know, breathe some more life into it. It's like a, an old rundown kind of town. And then so I think they're trying to like revamp it and like bring some money into the town or something, you know, like make it their like, you know, their, their money maker basically. And, you know, basically they're kicking people out of town, like, you know, acquiring the property. I'm, I wasn't too clear on that exactly, even though I watched it twice. I was kind of like, I know the story more from, like, reading about it rather than, like, actually watching the movie. But it seemed like a good idea, you know, for, like, oh, you know, why not kick Leatherface out of his town? It's a perfect, you know, scenario for, like, a killing spree to happen. So it's like, 
I'm down for that, you know, idea. I wasn't too bothered by the story or nothing. And, you know, I don't expect much from, like, stories these days as long as, like, I want to see some killing. <laughs> you know, as long as it's not, like, corny as hell and, like, just real cringe and stuff, which I didn't find this one to be. I felt they had, you know, a few, like, jokes and stuff kind of poking fun at, like, you know, like, this generation of stuff. You know, like how, like, the guy with the phone, you know, he's like, oh, we're going to cancel you. and Try anything you cancel, bro. shit like that you know like i thought it was funny I didn't, I didn't find that corny or anything but um you know he he obviously made them pay like the, the funny part about that i thought was um he's he's saying you know oh i'm gonna cancel you or whatever but he just live streamed you know multiple murders so it's like your account's actually getting deleted you know what i mean you got canceled dude. <laughs> but uh you know i thought that scene was you know a worthy scene I, that line didn't ruin it for me at all like he just you know massacred that whole fucking bus so it was like hell yeah man <laughs> i approve of that right there And they start out talking like pretty early in the movie that Sally became like a ranger and like apparently she's been like you know wanting revenge which um man I gotta say Sally just did, did not make any goddamn sense in this movie like I don't know why they needed her in this movie she could have been named anything and had the same impact on this film and we're gonna go through her I guess we'll just jump right into Sally right now I'm already on her but apparently it's like you know she's been wanting revenge looking for Leatherface for like 50 years it's him isn't it <laughs> Leatherface. Fifty years I've been waiting for this night. Just to see him again. Even though it's like, you know, here's the last time we saw Sally, you know, scared shitless, man. Not looking like someone who wants revenge. <coughs> you see her now and, and she's like fucking Creighton Duke from, uh, you know, Jason Goes to Hell where she's like some fucking Leatherface hunter. Now that she's dead, he has only two blood relatives left in the world with the power to kill him. And it's like, what the hell's going on here? Like, how did Sally transform into, like, I want revenge all of a sudden, you know? I could see, you know, turning him into the police or, like, who's going to go for revenge on fucking Leatherface, man? And especially, like, she was just, the character was just so bad. Like, the actress did fine. Just the character, man, like, the, the way it was written was just so poorly done. Where it's like, she, she comes face to face with him, can just blow his fucking head off right there. Which, you know, is obviously not going to be very good for the movie. But uh, she's, you know, standing there and she gets so obsessed with like, oh, you don't remember me? Like, why don't you remember me? Say my name. Say my name. Say you know me. Say you know what you did to my friends. You don't remember me. Did he ever know her fucking name? You know what I mean? It's like, did, when, did he ever take her ID? Did, were they ever calling her Sally, you know, besides like her friends yelling for her? Sally, they took the key! It didn't make any damn sense. How would he even know who she is? And it's like 50 years ago. Like, how many victims ago are you? Where it's like, he's going to remember you. Like, maybe you're the only one who got away. Probably not. Like, over that time, you know, if, if you managed to get away, I'm sure other people have gotten away, you know, over time too, and, you know, different houses he's been in or whatever, that, wherever the hell Leatherface has been. Like, what the hell is this character even doing, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't get, I guess, you know, Sally was like their, like, they kind of like crowbarred her in there to be like, look, it's, you know, a part two. Sally's here, you know, it's like, we didn't, we really didn't need her in there. It could have been just, just fine without her and just, you know, she could have been named Betty or any fucking other name. It didn't have to be Sally, but it's like they, you know, it was like a weak attempt to, like, make it you know a sequel would be like look it is definitely a part two sally's here so it's just i was like why do we even need her you know the character was just corny as hell just one of those like oh i'm a badass now you know i'm a i'm a leather face hunter I'm, i've come here to save the day and she didn't it's like they killed her off anyway so it was like what was the point she could have been anyone she could have been creighton duke you know what i mean it's like it didn't even matter she could have been literally anyone and had the same impact on the movie it, it did nothing for the film except to just you know crowbar sally's name in there and it was just like, it was kind of a, she was kind of a bummer. I guess the character, you know, like served a purpose kind of, but you could have done without her, you know what I mean? It was like almost like another part of the story just tacked on to it and you didn't really need that, you know what I mean? One part with her I thought was gonna be cool that they uh, didn't deliver on, you know, which is my expectations getting the best of me. Um, when they showed her in the sunflowers, I was like, oh man, we're gonna have like a badass, like, you know, sunset sunflower kind of chase or whatever, but it didn't happen, man. I was like, oh man, just the way the, the, the shot looked, I was like, ooh, this could look really cool, but unfortunately, did not happen.
but anyway uh, jumping back a little bit I'm kind of all over the place here it's the first time I've done one of these videos so you know bear with me I'll, I'll get the hang of it the more I do I'll probably just do one of these once in a while it's not gonna be like a regular thing so uh, that's why I didn't do another channel for it I just said fuck it put it on this channel here but uh, who is that lady with Leatherface man with, like she's acting like his mom or something if she was at, at like an orphanage or something I don't know if she adopted him as an adult at first I thought they were in like the you know the same town they were in in part one but apparently they're in like Harlow which is like a different town Leatherface has been hiding out apparently even though his house looked kind of you know like had that like real similar kind of look to it with the stairs and that doorway and stuff which I thought was kind of cool you know kind of give you like a old school vibes of the first one but I was confused on who the hell she was man and like why they're so attached and I guess it was just you know another thing kind of crowbarred in to give him a reason to to just you know go off and start the killing spree which he started a pretty cool way man I don't know how much I'm allowed to show in these kind of videos but I'll try to put some clips in here you know what I mean because that that first kill was pretty brutal <laughs> but yeah so like those youngsters come in and they're like you know oh we own this place like we have the deed to your house and it's like where that lady lives in leatherface like the i guess it's like an old orphanage or something and um she's like no no we have the deed you know they go back and forth and then she you know ends up having like a heart attack or something she you know gets all worked up about the whole situation and she like drops dead which is you know getting leatherface already pretty pissy you know he's not he's not a happy dude normally so he's like you know you're you're pissing off the wrong guy basically and then they insist you know they have the deed no she has the deed they go back and forth you know and come to find out once you know she's in the hospital or no she didn't even make it to the hospital but she died they don't know she's dead yet but they're kind of you know checking the place out the girl finds the deed in a lockbox you know it's proven that the lady did have the deed to her house and so that makes me think like okay Leatherface going on a killing spree I don't know about you but you know, I live in California and if somebody just comes into your home you can just you know end them you, it, it's like the law here you can just you know you, you pretty much want one story to be told to the police you know in a situation like that because you don't you don't want somebody to sue you for like breaking their ankle as they break into your house you know crap like that so i feel like leatherface is actually kind of like justified in killing these people because <laughs> like they're breaking into his house saying like we own your fucking house basically and he's they're like no 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 we have the deed here and they're the kids are like no no you don't understand we own your fucking property and leatherface is just like hey get the fuck out of my house man so you know i don't think leatherface could really just you know run around town just you know killing motherfuckers left and right but I think he's justified here you know Leatherface is kind of like the good guy or like the anti-hero maybe because uh, he's just defending his home man these these fuckers came in and are trying to take his home right out from him and they're like no we got the deed upstairs you don't understand these kids are like listen idiots you know we own this fucking place or whatever and so Leatherface like all right I guess I just gotta kill you you know like what other choice are you leaving me you, you fuckers won't get out and you just killed my you know my wannabe mom or whatever and uh so yeah, I feel like he's justified. He, I think Leatherface is in the right here. He's just kind of defending his property, you know what I mean? These fuckers are just trying to, you know, swindle it right out from under him. Yeah, I feel like this is just more of like me griping about shit in this video. Like I'm talking about more of the bad points than the good points, but I guess that just, you know, there's just more to talk about when you, you're, you know, annoyed by something or just like, you know, feel like something's wrong. There's more to say about it than, because I, overall I like the movie, like I'll watch it again. I wish it would have been released in theaters. It's only on Netflix apparently. Um, I would have paid to see it in theaters. I, I see all the new movies, you know, the, I've watched all the Halloween ones recently. The Halloween series, it's like, it's fine. It's not great. It's not bad though. And you know, I'll watch it though i feel like um this whole like trend of making a sequel to the original it's like it's kind of a weird thing but i feel like any reason to like make you know more of these like big franchise movies keep them coming man it's just you know it's another reason to keep making them why be mad about it you know i'll give them all a chance and you know i'll check them all out i go to the theater you know i saw scream in the theater scream is one of my all-time favorite you know series um i always love you know halloween movies obviously leatherface is always cool man i'll go see you know the new hellraiser but I'm like, you know, hey, any reason to, you know, make a movie for these characters, I'm down for it. So I'll take a sequel, you know, to the original and stuff. So it's like, why not? But yeah, so I'm not trying to be like too harsh on it. But, um, you know, just feel like there's more to talk about when when you don't like something. Like even the, like, the ending, it was like a, a good surprise ending. Like when they, they hit him in the face with a chainsaw, they like chin checked him with it. I was, I even told my girlfriend, I was like, there's no fucking way he's dead from that. Like you can't kill Leatherface with a chin check when he's like, you know, killing everyone like in these elaborate ways. And 
they're like slowly bleeding out. There's no way he's gonna die from a little chin hit. So when he popped up at the end and cut that girl's head off, I was definitely surprised because I thought she was the main final girl. She actually kind of deserved it, like to, you know, to survive because the other girl just kind of was like there the whole time. She like barely did much. She was just kind of like happened to be there and just not being the one being killed at the time. Like she just wasn't in the way. She was like out of the way and in safety every time something was going on. So I felt like she didn't really earn the final girl, you know, status like the other girl kind of earned it, which made the ending even more of a surprise because I did not expect her to die. So I thought she was, you know, you know, for sure be the one to live. I thought they were both going to live at that point. But so that was a really cool ending, too. They had some good kills for sure, man. I liked it and just brutal like the brutality was at the level i was hoping for so that was cool man because leatherface like with a chainsaw you, you gotta have some brutal shit man so he definitely you know was kicking some ass throughout the movie that that actor who played leatherface did a good job man mask on mask off like he was looking pretty creepy the whole time especially when when he wore that lady's face god damn like that was just like a brutal moment man like the it was just hardcore i would say I was surprised when I saw it was only like about 82 or 83 minutes, but uh, I was like, as long as it's a good 83 minutes and they didn't, you know, fill it like, you know, it could be like an, an hour 40 instead with like an extra 20 minutes of garbage in there. So at least they kept it like, I felt like they put like the meat of everything in there, except, you know, Sally, I could have done with a little less of her, but like I said, you know, you just got to kind of overlook it. Like they were, they, they tried, I guess, you know, it wasn't a, wasn't a good attempt, but at least they tried something. So, I mean, but yeah, I felt like, you know, they kind of just stuck to the meat of the, the story, you know, or the meat of the movie, basically. Like, it wasn't like a bunch of, like, filler thrown in there to make it longer, because it wasn't even an hour and a half, but it was an enjoyable, you know, 82 or 83 minutes, however long it is, for sure. But yeah, I guess that's all I got for this video. I feel like I mostly was just complaining about shit the whole time, <laughs> but I just, you know, wanted to get my thoughts on some stuff. I feel like it was, you know, just in my head for the last couple of weeks, and I, I was going back and forth on whether I was actually going to make this video or not, so... Let me know what you guys think if you want more of these or not. Um, I'm sure I'll get better at making them as time goes on. I'll probably just do one. It probably won't even be once a month or, you know, maybe a once a month kind of thing. And I'll just, you know, upload them on this channel instead of doing another channel because it'll take forever, you know, to build up another channel and all that. So it's not something that's going to happen like all the time. I might go like, you know, half a year without making a video like this. But I do watch a lot of weird shit, man. So I watch a lot of horror movies pretty much every day. I mean, I just the last like month or two, I watched like every episode of Tales from the Crypt. So... I'm watching shit all the time, man. But, uh, you know, don't let, like, a review, like, you know, sway your opinion of something. Like, I, I still think everyone should decide for themselves. You know, if you want to see it, don't let someone talk you out of it. Because I think it was a good movie, personally. I've heard people say they thought it was, you know, a big piece of shit. But, uh, I mean, I found it enjoyable. But I'm, I'm really hard on new movies. Like, I don't watch a lot of new shit. I stick to a lot of, like, 80s and 90s movies. And, you know, I watch any year, basically. I'll watch new stuff. I mean, we've been watching the new, like, you know, It movies, the Pennywise ones. So we're finally getting around to checking those out and giving them like a fair shot and um so but i mean you know don't let a reviewer change your opinion on something i, I think people should you know check it out for themselves and make your own opinion about it because you know i'm just a person giving my my damn thoughts on it my taste may be different than yours maybe we're you know we got the same taste maybe you agree with me maybe you disagree with me but let me know what you guys think man of the video and you know of the movie too if you saw it but i think you should see it it's good